It was a bit like watching the minute hand on a clock, the bridge moving inch by inch, almost imperceptibly, but still enough to captivate onlookers, wondering if it would all actually fit in place. It's been a mystery how this was all going to connect. I want to make sure the bolts all actually hook up to themselves like they're supposed to. It was no easy feat. The bridge started the day facing north and south. Over the course of about three hours, it was lifted by a massive machine acting like a furniture mover's dolly. The bridge slid to the south and then turned ever so slowly to the east between two sets of power lines. Putting this bridge in place is threading the needle, literally. Making it all happen, one man on the ground with a remote control. The bridge weighs about a million pounds and is the length of a football field, but it only had half an inch of wiggle room for proper placement. It's amazing what they're doing, just amazing. It just makes you appreciate what humankind can do. Think about the math involved in all this. The pedestrian bridge itself is really a bonus. Its actual purpose is to hold up these pipes for stormwater runoff to help ease flooding in North Everett. But the new connection is a welcome addition. People that live up on the hill think it's just wonderful. It'll be easy for them to get down and use the restaurants and walk the waterfront. There is still plenty of work to be done on this bridge. It is expected to be fully operational and open to the public by next spring. On the Everett Waterfront, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.